All right, so I got this uh, well house taken down completely and got the base swept. My original plan was to put the jet pump for the new system here and the uh, pressure tank over here where the old iron filtration system was. But I'm looking at the size of this pad here and I might be able to get away with just building a smaller well house, putting my jet pump here and the pressure tank where the old pressure tank was. I've got a larger pressure tank than, than the other one, but it's larger in height, not so much uh, this direction. So I'm gonna go get those components and lay them out on the space and just see how tight it is. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna be enough room, which would mean I don't have to worry about building this side of the new well house. Just simply make this four by four uh, existing base into the new well house. Uh, this is the water line going to the house. This is the power coming in from the house. So it's set up fine uh, to accommodate that. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna go get those components, set them here, see what they look like. Okay, so I got the components in place. I think this is gonna work. Uh, the pump, the jet pump is not that large. Uh, so I believe if I set it here, um, the intake pipe is here. So it'll make a, an L run down here, come out, and then into the holding tank. The output pipe is on top, so it comes out, comes over, down, over, and then into the pressure tank. Um, I think I've got enough room here to make this happen. I could, I could actually come back a little bit with the jet pump. Uh, as long as the distance to the wellhead is not an issue, I'm going to check with my well supply um, professional tomorrow and show him a picture of this setup and see what he thinks. But this would be great if I can get away with just putting everything on this existing slab. As I mentioned, the iron filtration system is going to exist inside the holding tank, so I don't need space for a filtration system out here. Ultimately, I'll have a final stage um, whole house filter at the house, but for the purpose of feeding that and the garden area, this is really all of the equipment that I'm gonna need out here. Um, so this other pad that's sort of a quasi pad, it's not a poured pad, I may not end up needing. Um, so anyway, that's good news. I'll, I'll confirm that tomorrow. I've got to go pick up the, uh, the iron filtration system uh, from my well supply person. All right, guys. Okay, guys, so I met with my well guy yesterday and he confirmed that that four by four pad should be plenty of room for the new well setup. So just left the uh, lumber store, got my supplies to build the new well house. Um, on my way out to the property, I drove up the coast this morning and uh, thought I'd pull over at one of the stop-offs. The fog is just lingering uh, over the beach right now, and I love that. It's such a cool uh, feng shui about it. So, thought I'd stop here and give you the update. Let's head on to the property.
Okay, gang, so that was a fun day. I accomplished what I wanted to today with regard to framing the well house. I have a couple of more headers to put up where the door will be. I think I'm gonna go with double doors here in the front. It's only a four foot opening, but uh, I like the idea of double doors. The plumbing from the holding tank is gonna come in the side of the building here. So I've got room to do swinging doors uh, both ways. And if they're just two foot doors, they're only gonna swing out so much. I think that'll look better in the end. I've got T111 siding here that I'm gonna put up and that's what I'll make the doors from as well. I have metal uh, galvanized roof uh, roofing that's on order. That won't be here till next week, toward the end of next week. Um, I'm just gonna do a shed style roof but I am gonna overhang that roof about uh, almost four feet coming this direction. And then I'll drop two four by four posts on, on either side of the corner. Put pea gravel down here, and then I'll use that area to uh, hose down the ozone filter, for example, and keep some of the other supplies if I like out there. But it's coming together, it's pretty solid. I put the... Uh, pressure treated base on top of the concrete. You always want to do that. If you're touching concrete, uh, you want to make sure that that wood is treated. Uh, and then just regular framing two by four dug fur uh, on top of that. Um, so that's it. I'm going to take a couple of days off and do a little fishing. Um, I don't have a GoPro camera yet, I'm saving up for that. So it's hard for me to film fishing. Uh, I went fishing earlier this week, caught a salmon in the Rogue River, and I would have loved to have filmed that, but again, it's impossible to hold a camera. I'm in a small boat and uh, it just doesn't work. So when I get the GoPro, the fishing videos will come, I promise. Regardless, I'm gonna enjoy some fishing for a couple of days and then get back to work on the Wellhouse project um, in next week's video. Actually, I hope to complete the well project in next week's video. So all of the plumbing, hooking up the, uh, the pumps, etc., absolutely completed in the next video. That's the goal. So until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.